And the championship matchup of the NJCAA basketball tournament set for tomorrow at the Hutchinson Sports Arena. And it will feature the number one team in the country. The Barton Cougars made it all the way to the end. I want to bring in Barton alum and KSN's very own Jason Lamb joins us now for a little championship game preview, Jason. I grew up in Great Bend. I went to Barton for, uh, got my associates there before I went okay. to KU. And yes, Barton has won 59 national championships. Almost all of them uh, belong to the track and cross country programs. The basketball program has never ever won it all. Mm. And the Cougars have a chance to change that all tomorrow. <laughs> Appearing in the NJCAA championship game for only the fifth time since 1991, this Barton starting five has had this one final game on its mind all season. We got a good chance of going to go get the Natty and that's what we plan to do. We're not done yet. Natty inbound, stay tuned. The Cougars hammered Indian Hills in Thursday's semifinals. Leger Jones led the way with 25 points. Amazing, but it's just, I'll probably soak it in after. Uh, we still got one more game to win. It was the 26th straight win for the 35-1 Cougars. We're really excited for our program, excited for our guys. You know, they've worked so hard to get to this point, and we were able to pull it off. And, uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, I would have been really pleased with our team. Uh, just, just because we've had such a great year, but uh, really excited that they they got a chance to bring home a national championship to, to Barton. It'll be the first time in school history. That's right, something Barton faithful have waited on for a long time. I'm super excited. My uncle's the coach, so I'm super excited and happy for him. Well, longer than young Cohen Campbell. Man, I was really excited. I mean, they played hard the whole game. We just we just put the hammer down and never really gave them a chance. It was, uh, you know, everybody played so well, and it was just so exciting to see them win this game to get to the national championship. Our coach, Jeremy Combs, has done a wonderful job, and we've got a bunch of wonderful kids that go to class and uh, work hard, and they deserve this. And being about 10 or 11 deep on the, you know, on the bench, it just makes it it's what you need to win this tournament is, is a lot of depth. So uh, I think we can do it. We're just going to have to put one more game together. Head coach Jeremy Combs has almost reached the mountaintop in his third season. That's one thing that, you know, when Trevor hired me, we talked a lot about. And, and uh, you know, that's something that we wanted to make sure we, we were able to, you know, make the get the program going and, and, and have a chance to win a national championship. Happy for myself and my teammates and the coaching staff. It feels great to uh, have a chance to bring one home to the Cougar Nation family. So it's been 25 years since Barton's last and only championship game appearance. Their opponent tomorrow on Saturday is the Triton Trojans out mm -hmm. of Illinois. Tip-off is set for 1 o'clock, and if Barton fans can't make it to Hutch, the game will be broadcast on ESPNU. I know you're going to be there. I'll be there. And, and, and I'll bet the atmosphere is electric. Oh, it's a, I hope it I, is, I, yeah. It's a national championship game. I've never been to a JUCO tournament national championship game. I mean, you know, when that Hutch arena gets, when it gets packed, it's a, it's a special place. It is a really it cool. It really is neat. It's a great place to host. Yeah. All right, Jason, thanks.